So, as I start to make my third reminiscence video, I've been thinking about childhood and childhood play, mainly because I've been at home with my two small children and that's what I do for half of the day when I'm not doing this. So, we're going to start our childhood reminiscence with the question, were you indoorsy or outdoorsy? When I take some of our handling collection to care settings and community groups, there's usually a bit of a divide. People who remember games, board games, books from their childhood, and other people who remember skipping games, street games, climbing trees. Um, we don't have a tree to climb in our handling collection, but I'm going to share a few objects with you on the themes of indoors play and outdoor play today. So do you have fond memories of playing games on rainy days and Sundays? This is a lovely 1950s Ludo set that we have in our reminiscence box. Usually when I take this out on a session, people just want to get playing. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the pieces. We've also got this lovely snakes and ladders board, although I think it's a little bit older than most people's living memory. But it's got quite a, a moral tone to it, this has, so I just wanted to share it with you. Um, you can see here, you can slide down a snake from bad temper to murder. You can slide from gambling to ruin um, and you can slide from laziness to poverty. There's definitely a message being told here, but to the opposite extent, you can climb a ladder from industry to prosperity, from punctuality to advancement and from obedience to respect. I think there's some question over whether that's the case, um, but snakes and ladders is something that's been with us all for a very long time. We wonder what games you remember playing as a child, board games or perhaps card games. This is a lovely set of Happy Families cards that are in the actual collection at the Wiltshire Museum. You can see all the different caricatures. Often there will be local versions of Happy Families and the characters in the sets of cards changed over time. I wonder if you remember playing this game. When I talk about board games and card games in care settings and community groups, often people will tell me that they weren't allowed to play out on a Sunday and that would be the time when the family games would, would come out onto the dining room table. Perhaps you had a favourite card game, something you could always beat your brothers and sisters at. I remember I met one gentleman whose father had been in charge of the community whist drives and had been responsible for handing out the coveted 13 Club trophy. Do you have any memories related to card games, board games and family time indoors? Or perhaps you are more of a bookworm. Something that people often talk about, memories of their childhood in the 40s, 50s and 60s, is the annual, the Beano, the Dandy, the Girlfriend. Um, also compendiums, something that would be given to you perhaps once a year as a gift. Um, the big budget for girls, full of adventure stories and tales on the high seas, a Christmas adventure, midnight feasts, all those sorts of things. Was there something like that that you would always receive as a child, or perhaps it were passed down to you from other older siblings and cousins, which was always the case with me? Did you have a favourite book from early childhood? Have you kept any of these things? This is a lovely um, storybook for small children gifted to somebody according to the inscription in 1956 for Christmas. Happy Christmas, 1956. Um, there's some beautiful illustrations in these books from this period of time. Um, it is really just absolutely lovely, this one. Um, I remember having a compendium of um, fairy stories with beautiful drawings, and those images are still in my mind today. If you were a little bookworm, what do you remember of your books at home? A lot of the objects in our handling collection are necessarily items of indoor play, toys, dolls, board games, etc. But there's always somebody who says, I was never indoors. I was always outside climbing a tree and playing games. Street games is something that comes up quite a lot. And one of the key of those is skipping. People remember a lot of the rhymes. And um, I was trying to think what were one of the advantages of making these reminiscence videos in my own home rather than bringing the objects out to um, community halls or lounges in care settings. Um, and one of those is that I have a back garden in which to give skipping a go for the first time in a good few decades. So here we go.
needless to say that was a bit trickier than I remembered it being when I was a child. Um, but some of the rhymes that I was using when I was skipping as a child have been around for a really, really long time, um, all the way through the 20th century, really. There's some lovely um, videos on the British Library website uh, for little girls in Edinburgh, I think, Edinburgh or Glasgow, uh, doing skipping rope rhymes, um, and they're much more uh, adept at it than I am. But perhaps you remember some. I'm a little Dutch girl dressed in blue. Here are the things I like to do. Salute to the captain, bow to the queen, turn my back on the submarine. I can do the tap dance, I can do the splits, I can do the hulk bulker just like this. Certainly couldn't pick up that pace now. But there were lots of games that involved rhyming. Each peach pear plum, dip, 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 my blue ship. Um, and blue bells, cockle shells, E, V, I, V, over, that we used for lots of different games. Did you play hopscotch? Uh, did you play Grandmother's Footsteps? What were the games when you were out in the streets or the fields with your friends that you were playing as a child?